everyone welcome to day 13 of our gratitude series and in today's video we are going to be thanking god for the word of god i love this specifically because sometimes i just sit down and i ask myself imagine we didn't have something like the bible to refer to imagine it wasn't documented just imagine some of these things where we have real life information that even though some people we have real life information real time that we can always refer to that this is what god says about me and this is what god says about my situation and this is the solution to whatever is going on in my life just lift up your voice and say thank you lord because your word is sharper than a double-edged sword. Thank you, Lord, because your word is yes and amen. Thank you, Lord, because you have your word intact for our sake and for my sake. Just lift your voice and thank God. Thank God that his word is there. Just thank him for his word. Thank God for his word. Thank God for his word. And for our action steps, I just want you to ask yourself, how diligent are you with the word of God? I the kind of person that runs everywhere, anywhere for answers except the word of God. How do you plan on studying the Bible? How do you, you, how would you want to join a Bible study group? Because the Word of God is life. It is life. You would know how much a person has life based on how much they allow the Holy Spirit to lead them as they read the Word of God. Right. So you'd want to just take your time. If you want to set alarms to remind you that, okay, this is the time to pray. This is the time to read the Word of God. And all the good stuff you'd want to look into that right just take your time and just do some introspection go throughout this day just brooding and thinking about how you can specifically really take your word study more seriously than you are doing you remember when david was going to fight goliath he said something that the god that protected him from the bears and what's not what he had a track record Sometimes we need to be able to say these kinds of things in trying situations and you'd only know them if you have, you, you can only do that if you have knowledge and the knowledge will come from you reading the word of God. Do you get it? Remember when Satan came to tempt Jesus, the very things that Jesus said were from the Bible, they were words that had life. Even though Satan was also quoting from the Bible, the difference is that Jesus had the Spirit of God. And so, of course, sometimes the devil will come to you with what God says. But the fact that you have the Spirit of God, plus the Word of God, is, is power enough to fight him, right? So you don't want to look at these things. The Word of God is very important. And I want to recommend how to study your Bible. Wait to link that video at the top here for you. So that you check it out and do the needful. I filmed a video on that, so do the needful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Go through this day thanking God for His word. Bye guys!